Hello friends, it's Kat from Yum Meow Kapow. If you're joining us for a well-inked box unboxing for the first time, head down to the doobly-doo for the link to my first ever review of them. Seriously, they are different than every other subscription box I've ever seen and it helps to know a bit more about them. I'll also link all the materials down there per usual. This box was sent to me for free, but y'all should know by now I'm incapable of lying about my opinions. Clever as you are, I'm sure it hasn't passed your notice that everything coming out of this box has been a pencil or a pencil's best friend. Well, gulp. The majority of what we do here on this channel is watercolor painting or we occasionally throw around fabric and thread and hope for the best. Colored pencils? I'll leave that to the experts, like fellow Animal Artist Collective member Amy Howard. I know my way around a graphite pencil or two, but colored pencils are something I'd say is less an acquaintance than someone I once shook the hand of at a fancy party and promptly forgot. So apologies if I don't do these supplies justice, but they sure were fun to experiment with. Every time I do these, I always mention that Welling Box is great at putting together a cohesive collection, and I'd just like to take note of this very true comment on their inspiration card. Lord knows I can never find my sharpener when I need it, so having this little guy included was both funny and helpful. I'd also like to say that while this sharpener doesn't have any bells and whistles, it's fully effective. As a recovering art teacher, trust me when I tell you that there is such a thing as a horrible pencil sharpener, and I now appreciate even the most basic of ones as long as they sharpen my pencil. The graphite pencils came in some weird hardnesses, but they do give you a very large range as a result. Not being someone who spends a lot of time experimenting with fancy graphite pencils, I can't really say if these are better or worse than any others, but they certainly do work. If you use any of the hard pencils, which are the ones that have an H in their softness rating, then they'll be shiny on the paper and you really can't get deep shadows with them. The softer pencils, meaning ones that have a B in their rating, are great for shading and dark lines, but they're much more likely to smudge around the page. Having these three different hardnesses of pencils makes it easy to play around and get some really great tonal variations. Those vibrant highlighter pencils are pretty cool, but I did notice that the pink one breaks really easily, and while the yellow and green seemed a bit more stable, these ones don't seem to blend at all, but they erase super well. It's pretty obvious to an uneducated pencil heathen such as myself that the Prismacolors are much nicer and creamier and smoother than the new ones, and I was able to get a little bit of blending with them by layering lightly over and over again. Something interesting about the eraser that was included is that it's a rough sand eraser and says it's meant to erase ink. Curious about that, I used some different pens on the paper and not a single one of them erased at all. The one kind of pen I didn't test was a ballpoint pen and the description card does say it should work with ballpoint specifically. I'm not fully sure how it's supposed to be used, but if you have experience with this eraser, please let me know more about it. Personally, I wasn't impressed, but I am grateful that an eraser was included with all these pencils in the first place. When these pink, yellow, and green pencils came in the mail, I had no idea what to do with them, so I went to the Instagram hive mind. So many people had great recommendations like tropical birds and various fruits, but the first person to respond was Coloring Caria, who suggested a pop art style leaf, so I just went with it. By the way, this paper was not included in the box. It's actually a little book that Eve Bolt gave me when we decided to do a fake subscription box swap. I'll make sure that the video's in the iCards if you want to see it, since we both had so much fun. I'm not really sure what else to say about these supplies since I had fun using them but have no real experience with them beyond really, really casual flirtation. So, uh, hey, come here often? What's your favorite flavor of pudding? Pause for three seconds to wait for response. Three, two, one. Cool, cool. I like tapioca because I'm a thousand years old, apparently. Mmm, tapioca. Ooh, do pudding pops count, though? Because those are also a good choice. Anyway, if you're interested in getting your own well-inked box, there are infos down in the doobly-doo, and if you use the code MEOW, you'll get 15% off your first box. I'm a big fan of a good discount. I'm also a big fan of all y'all who've thrown me a like and subscribe. Thanks, boo! You help me keep doing what we do. Until I see you next time, I wish you peace, love, and pudding.